It's time for Eric Checks Out the Baconing. All right, so, um, you know, many other people, when they do stuff like this, they play games um, that they've got through Humble Bundles or Steam Sales. They call it Steam Cleaning. And I do like me a good pun, but I call it Eric Checks Out. So this is going to be Eric Checks Out the Baconing. And the Baconing should be starting any minute now. And there it is. As soon as it appears, I will switch screens. I've never played this game before. I don't remember what it's about or why I have it. Death Bag 2 fears small numbers of choices and commitment. <coughs> but it must be from a humble bundle. Uh, who knows? All right. All right, let's go to Downtrodden, because I have no idea what this game's all about. I complete the game here in this privilege. Start this quest. What kind of quest is called the Baconing? Based on a true story. Okay. True-ish story. I like the animation style. It's pretty neat. I am Deathspank. Hero to the downtrodden! Vanquish out of evil! And I was bored! <coughs> I had been too successful! Vanquish too much evil! If only there was a challenge worthy of my might! I love that the heroine dies every time. Oops. What the hell? Didn't mean to click there, but I guess I did. Whoa. Alright, looks like this is a, uh... What's that called, uh... Diablo style game. Alright, so I move with the Wazdikis. United. Things of Spanktopia. Thongs. United Thongs? Spanktopia? Oh, it's a thong. Okay then. Should I house. fall in my pursuit of justice, I will reappear at these mystic. Okay. <coughs> That's a bummer. I put back in and. Lost part of the opening, but that's okay. It happens. Alright, so all these guys are dead. Doesn't look like there's anything I can pick up. Alright, I've got spells here and here. Two. Healed. Okay, cool. Not sure what these fish are about. Guys, your chest. Okay. I got incendiary grenades, fist of the unicorn, okay. Some money. Very tongue in cheek Diablo esque game. Oh my god. Oh a little dog left behind. Alright, so my subjects were killed it looks like. What's funny is from the Gentle bovine! Who, who would steal a cow prosthesis? And why? Who, what do you know of these foul creatures? Fascinating. A blend of my ancient orcish foes and technology. I too noticed that. It's pretty ridiculous. My poor, <coughs> brave, stand resolute, my formerly quadrupedal chum. It means... Can Spanktopia survive these upheavals? I agree. The resolve of the citizens will be well tested. I see. Then I will seek more information on this fell enemy. Farewell! This game is crazy. I'll be right back. 
This game is an interesting oh, plan. Oh sure, clubs and sharp things are great, but a real hero knows how to use his shield. Block melee arranged attacks with perfect timing to reflect them back at your enemies. <coughs> so it's an interesting combination of like based on the. Justice ready. That's what that means. Oh, run away, run away. But yeah, I was saying it's an interesting combination of like really old stuff. I mean, like you said, Orcish enemies plus technology. Whoa. There's a lot of arrows in me right now. Got you all by yourself. <laughs> I like that they're getting into the uh You must feel so silly background. Better find some more potions soon. Be in trouble. Let's see what's in these barrels back here. Fish. Sushi. Okay, sushi. Tab. Got a whole bunch of bad guys coming. What does it mean that this purple thing's ready? I don't understand. Time compared to the drinks. Oh, there's my money that I lost before. That's cool. So if I go back to where I was, I'll get my money again. <laughs> I can have the way my guy jogs backwards. I get to finish eating my food. I guess if I start moving, I stop healing when it comes to the fish. What's up, dude? Well, leveling up is a special time in a hero's life. You gain new abilities, access to new hero cards, and hair where before you had no hair. <laughs> it's very exciting. <coughs> I'm 
gonna start with. Well, oh, I guess. I guess that happened. Okay, so now I've got a new outhouse. Why, it's my old friend, yeah, Thunglith Researcher. I have a name, you know. Hey, that's great. But <laughs> what incredible coincidence brings me to you? We should do lunch. Get our chili on. Deathspank, surely you've noticed that this city is in ruins. Sounds like the sort of thing that happens around me. <coughs> I detected a massive influx of Thongly energy. Then, boom! These horrible creatures appeared. Tell me, Deathspank, have you been wearing all the thongs of virtue at the same time? Uh... Sure, but you can't argue with these results. You fool! The thongs were never meant to be worn together. Doing so has created a foul copy of yourself. That horrible creature, that anti-spank, puts the entire world at risk. I beg you, Deathspank, <coughs> leave this place, find the bacon fires, and use them to destroy the thongs. Only then may you defeat that horrible creature and redeem yourself. Okay. The exit to the city lies to the far north. Sure thing, exposition researcher. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Let's see what's over here in the south. I had a feeling there'd be a reward for coming this way. Lollipop, quick potion. Stupid chicken. Huh? All raised weapons may be charged up to do new and exciting things. Try holding the button down and make the magic happen. Uh, guess I don't have one right now going on. Uh. Speak to me of these cyborgs. The cyborgs appeared the same moment the anti spank did. Cyborgs are an unholy fusion of orc flesh and earth junk. <coughs> the result is far worse than you'd imagine. Are you sure? Because I can imagine some pretty bad stuff. It's worse. You're yeah. blowing my mind here. Reminds me of like the tick and stuff like that. Goodbye, Thongalith researcher. <laughs> Hurts. Just blew myself up. Guess I'm supposed to use my uh, long-reaching weapon for that. All right, let's see. Crossbow, bunker. All right, I think what I need to do is go to the settings, control settings. <coughs> uh, that's bank uses controller mode. Guess I could play this with a controller too. Equipment, inventory, hero cards, map, quest log, show item names before we move that back. Because I feel like. Should be. Alright, let's save the game. Alright, 
Um, let's see. Should I leave it here? Should I go a little bit more? I feel like I should switch to a controller because this is not I'm not seeing how to activate my long range weapon. F1, F2, maybe, let's see. <laughs> hmm. Ah, very cool. Well, let's just fight these guys normally. See if we can get to the next checkpoint. Next time I'll play this with a controller, maybe? If I play it next time. I'm a boy. I said boy. <laughs> Look, there's no time to argue. Tell me the quickest way out of the city. Well, that's on the other side of the door, isn't it? I lost the key, but you can make a new one with the replicator. Ah, the replicator. That's hilarious. The greatest British invention voice. of our age. After karaoke. Word. <laughs> what we tell is the replicator code. a great code. mix of old I don't and know new. it. But check your fortune cookies. Ah, fortune cookies. My trusted companion in adventure. All right, let's see. And where are these handy fortune cookies? You can find those in your inventory screen or your quest log. Piece of delicious cake. Tell me how I would program the replicator. The replicator uses advanced punch card technology. <laughs> punch cards. Gather them up and use them to enter replicator codes. You'll find the code inside the fortune cookie int for the quest inside your quest log. I don't mean to pry, but are you positive you're a boy? I've got a Y chromosome, I have. Mm. That's a real achievement for a little girl. <laughs> Farewell, girl. See ya, governor. That's awesome. Use book of notes with the outhouse. All right. So here are the different outhouses I can fast travel to. Oh my god. All right. Uh, yikes. Are you a teensy bit forgetful? Then the lost and found is perfect for you. That's Any awesome. quest items you forget will find their way to these helpful little boxes. That's really How cool. Do it? That's a really good innovation on these uh, systems. Please, everybody, and go kill this guy so he stops hitting me. I Whoa. need to put a punch card in here. Greetings again. Uh, no. Farewell. Say Where'd that guy go? Oh my god. I don't feel so good. Alright. Cool. I think I'm good. There's the exit there. There's a girl over there. Oh, there's a boy here and a girl there. That's funny. Alright. I think I'm gonna save and um this game? It really plays to my uh, my sense of humor. 
really seems to have a real um, Monty Python type sensibility to it. The tick, um, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I know it's not. Um, wow, I really like this voice actor. I can't remember his name now. The guy who does Kronk and a million other voices. And I cannot for the life of me remember his name right now. I know it's not him, but it seems like a type of role he would do. He seems to do characters like this a lot. So this was an Eric Checks Out, but it's definitely going to be an Eric Continues to Play. So I'll probably be throwing this one in along with some Gwent and some um, Stardew Valley for the next uh, few weeks. Um, so cool. That was a lot of fun, and I'm glad I checked it out. I, again, I don't didn't purposely get this game, but it was a lot of fun uh, to get, and I'm glad that I did end up with it however it is I did. Again, 99% chance, a humble bundle, but I guess there could have been some other possible way. I'm not sure. All right, so uh, you've been watching Eric play The Baconing. I will see you next time. Bye.